In this video, I'm going to show two short little Python programs that are working with a JSON file. So we're going to read said JSON file. And then uh, in the first version, we're going to have, this is going to be the JSON file. We're going to have this uh, list. So we're going to have an object. It's going to have a property called employees. That's going to be a list of dictionaries with the first and last name of the employee. And I'm going to add an employee. So I have uh, John Doe and Anna Smith and Peter Jones, and I'll add another person. So I'll be adding uh, a dictionary to a list if I'm doing a, uh, a Python speak. And then in the other one, I will add a another key value pair. Okay. So that's the JSON we're reading. So we're going to import JSON, I'm reading a local file, so I like to import the OS and make sure I'm in the right path. So I find where this Python file is, get its path, get its directory, and change the directory to that. Then the employees is its sibling in the file system. So now I'm reading that, and I can just refer to the file name and I'm reading the JSON file and parsing it as JSON. So we've considered all that uh, previously. So now we have the JSON file. We then are prompting uh, our user to enter a first name and a last name. We know that these presumably are the properties of, of our dictionaries. And then we're going to make a new dictionary. So this empty curly brackets here, we're making a new dictionary and we're setting the first name property. So we're set making a key value pair for this dictionary. One of them has the key of first name and the value entered by the user. Similarly for the last name and what was entered by the user. And then um, I am getting the, I have my JSON. It had a list called employees, and I'm appending that dictionary into that list. I'm going to print out that list, so we'll see it down in the console. And then I'm going to open up a file in the current directory um, called new underscore json dot json. And I'm opening it for writing. And then I'm going to, and calling it F2, and then I'm going to write to that file, and I'm just going to take my JSON and dump all that information, and I'm going to have an indenting scheme of two to make my JSON look a little bit nice. Okay, so here again, here's the file system, add to JSON and write a new file, and that's the Python, and that's the JSON that we've been looking at, and now we're going to uh, run this and it's prompting me in the console for a new name. Um, Terry McSherry or something, I don't know. And then it's printing out all the names and now I have an additional user in my list. And I also have a new file that I've written to, which is JSON and if I open that up, here that is new underscore json and it has the terry mcsherry and it has this uh two space indenting scheme within so we have this sort of tree like structure within the json and it everything sort of then deeper into the tree is indented more okay so that was the first one so again, we read the JSON and then we uh, it had in there a, within it, it had a list of dictionaries and then we added a new dictionary, appended it to the list and so, and made it a new part of extended our JSON that way. And then also wrote out a file with that new JSON. Okay, so now let's look at number two. And so let me close the, close all of them and open up these new two. So I'm going to uh, have the same JSON. Now I'm, I'm in a new folder. And so uh, Terry McSherry is gone. I'm reading this file, 
but she's not there. But what I'm going to do in this one, instead of adding a new item to my list, I'm going to add a new key value pair to each of the existing dictionaries. So I'm going to not add another dictionary, but add to each dictionary. Okay. So I'm going to read and parse the JSON. They have key value pairs of the first name and the last name. We're going to add a new key value pair for a username. And uh, I'm going to print out the JSON, not print it to an external file, but just print it to the console. Okay. Bring in the JSON library, bring in the operating system library, play the same game to read the sibling. And remember, Terry McSherry is not there because I'm in a new folder reading a new, reading the employee's JSON from that folder, which has not been edited. I'm reading it, I'm parsing it as JSON. So now I am looping over that employee info was what I read from the JSON. It has a, a property called employees and that property is a, a list. So I'm, I'm in a dictionary, it has a property employees, that, that value, that property is a list of dictionaries. So I'm looping over that list. And then I'm taking the last name and putting it in the lowercase. I'm taking the first name and putting it into lowercase and grabbing, this is kind of a version of a, of a substring starting at position zero and taking one, a length of one. So that's getting me my first character. And, and then I'm putting, I, I added that. So I have a plus equal. So I have the last name all in lowercase and then the first initial and I'm printing that. And then I am adding it to my employee with the key of username to and a value of the username that I just created there, and then I'm printing it out. So this, what you're seeing down below is what's from the previous version. I clear that out. I run this new one. And then here, when I'm printing, here's the printing within the loop, printing out the usernames. And then here is me printing the JSON. And we see that it now includes an additional key value pair within each dictionary. So that's what I want to show you on this one, sort of not just reading the JSON, but, you know, writing to the JSON in different ways, adding to a list or adding to adding key value pairs to a dictionary. Thanks for your attention.